diesel and the Allison transmission with more horsepower, more torque, and even better fuel economy. Plus, we've added the Denali trip to our heavy-duty lineup, so our heavy-duty customers can get the premium features and styling of Denali, but with some serious capabilities. We're talking about a maximum payload of 6,000 pounds, conventional trailering at 17,000 pounds, and fifth-wheel trailering at 21,300 pounds. That's enough to tow a 34-foot-long, three-axle travel trailer. Now, our Denali's come in heavy-duty, three-quarter ton or one ton. Those are the stats I just gave you. Either way, you'll get the crew cab body style. A standard 6-6 six -six box comes on the three-quarter ton. A 6-6 six -six or an eight-foot-one box on the one ton, single rear wheel or dually. Now, as you can see, it's got a great look. Things that are Denali specific would be this front end grill. That is our signature Denali honeycomb grill with the heavy duty version. We've also painted the body colored bumpers and went with the chrome door handles, a little extra chrome on the side, plus the Denali badging. And the wheels there, those are going to be generally 18-inch wheels. We went with a 20-inch polished aluminum, plus we added the chrome assist steps from GM Accessories. That's a dealer-installed option as well. But as you enter in, you'll find leather seating to be standard, of course, along with those 12-way power adjustable seats, including lumbar support, so everybody has a smooth, comfortable ride in this Denali Heavy Duty. Other nice standard features include the power adjustable pedals, there's a Bose premium sound system, a USB audio input port so you can play your iPod music or whatever it may be. Of course, there's going to be Bluetooth, XM satellite radio, OnStar, and a whole lot more that are standard on the vehicle. Now, we added on as options the heated and the cooled front seat. It's pretty awesome for August in New York to have a cooled front seat. I really enjoy the heated steering wheel in January. I live in Chicago, so it's kind of like New York, pretty chilly. So the heated steering wheel is really nice. We also went with a power rear sliding window and a backup camera. Now the backup camera actually shows up on your rear view mirror if you don't go with the navigation system. If you have the optional nav system, the backup camera shows right on your nav screen. It's a little bit bigger picture of what's going on as you're moving the boat into a tight slip or whatever it may be. So as you can see from the exterior, gorgeous looking, wonderful on the inside, but Either way, all of the new heavy duties, whether you go traditional or Denali, have this all new fully boxed steel frame, which we've got on display back here. So that is, we used to have a C-channel frame, now it's a fully boxed steel frame. It's got more torsional stiffness, but we kept the premium Sierra ride. It does have an independent front suspension, which has been beefed up by 25% to 6,000 pounds this year. So all of our four-wheel drive models can now handle a snowplow package. You take a look at this rear suspension. This is an asymmetrical leaf spring suspension. The reason for that is to handle the increased payload this year as well as the increased torque. Where's the power? Where's the power? That's up front. It's a 6.6 liter Duramax turbo diesel and Allison transmission. It's an Allison 1,000 six-speed transmission. We're talking about 765 pound-feet of torque. I drove one of these in September back in Chicago. Luckily, nobody was in front of me because it just jumped. Really, with that torque, it's just under 400 horse. We're at 397 horse, 765 torque. And, you know, really a lot of get up and go. Yeah, a lot of power. You know, if you go with that Duramax 6.6 turbo diesel and Allison transmission, you also get smart exhaust brake. Now, the great thing is it uses the engine to slow the vehicle down, so it helps prolong your brake life. Kind of like what people would call a Jake brake for the 18-wheelers, but way more quiet, far less intrusive, and much better than a simple on-off switch. Now, the thing about that is it's smart because it varies the amount of resistance on the brake, depending on the load as well as the grade. So again, 
the vehicles when you're doing that braking for you. If you go with a single rear wheel model, we also give you trailer sway control. Now, trailer sway control is awesome. You know, say you're carrying you know, a bunch of horses behind you, the trailer starts to behave erratically. Well, the yaw sensors say, uh-oh, we need to do something about this. It uses automatic power cutoff and the truck brakes to help bring that back in line. Now, I'm not talking about integrated trailer brake controller. That's different. We have that on here as well, where you can control your trailer brakes. So, some really nice systems. There's also hill start assist, driver shift control. You can do a tap up, tap down shifting with a manual override for your transmission. I mean, all these great features to give you an awesome, smooth ride, plenty of get up and go. And as you can see, this vehicle has a lot of great upgrades on it. This one fits at about 58.7. But our base price for our two wheel drive, Denali, heavy duty with a gasoline engine, which is a six liter Vortex V8, would be about 40. Four and a half. So you've got about 44 and a half to about 62. 9,500 pounds for, oh, the vehicle weight. The gross vehicle weight rating is right around 10 on this. Yeah, so our warranty here is going to be a, a five-year 100,000 on the powertrain, complete with courtesy transportation and roadside assistance. So my name is Carrie. If you have any questions or you'd like a brochure to be sent, I can do that. And then don't forget, we've got the cutaway back here. You can check that out. And my friend Christine over here is talking about the Sierra All-Terrain Heavy Duty Concept, and that is based on this vehicle here, so make sure you